at least 133 people are deceased after an attack on the concert hall in Russia. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about what could be a rare terror attack on the Russian Federation. Let's go back. On Friday, news broke of a mass shooting at a concert hall in Moscow. At least 133 people are deceased as of right now, which is right around 12 noon Sunday. And before I continue, may everyone who passed away rest in peace. If anyone is injured, clinging to life, trying to get better, may you get well soon. And prayers out to all the families involved. Now, there are a lot of fingers being pointed already. Some say that Ukraine did it. Some say that Russia, for some reason, did it. But the official news says that ISIS-K claimed responsibility. Now, please pardon my ignorance. I've not heard about ISIS ever being in Russia doing anything. But again, maybe I just don't know. Maybe I haven't heard. But I've not heard about them being in Russia. And I've not heard about ISIS doing anything like this in a while. There was a period of time a few years ago where ISIS was doing a lot. Okay, this attack happens over here in the U.S. or Western Europe. ISIS said they did it. And they did this and they did that. But I've not heard about them in a while, and I've never heard about them being in Russia. But again, I could be ignorant. Maybe I just don't know what's going on. Now, there's a lot we got to get into. We got articles and everything else. But first things first, we got to check out uh, a couple articles. You see, this is on uh, New York Times. You see, death toll rises to 133 at Moscow concert hall attack. President Vladimir Putin vowed to punish those responsible for the assault one of the deadliest in Russia in decades, U.S. officials have attributed the attack to ISIS-K, a branch of the Islamic State that has been active in Iran and Afghanistan. Okay, and we're seeing a damage to the concert hall right there. It's pretty extensive because after the actual shooting, there was a fire. I don't know why that happened because I the video I saw, and if you want to see the video of the shooting, I'll link to it in the box. I can't play it right here. But in a video I saw, it was four guys with long guns just kind of shooting indiscriminately. I didn't see anybody lay down an accelerant and set the building on fire. So I don't know how that happened. But again, maybe we're going to learn a lot more as days and weeks progress. Another article from BBC. Uh, Zelensky hits back after Russia links Ukraine to Moscow attack. Um, let's read some of this right here. Then we're going to get into a news clip. As news of the Moscow concert hall attack broke on Friday, Ukrainians knew what was coming. Kiev would be blamed. The next thing they expected was more drones and more missile strikes. The accusations began almost immediately. There were just hints at first until President Putin openly claimed that the men who attacked Moscow had tried to flee to Ukraine, helped by contacts there. Then shortly before dawn on Sunday came the second kind of sound of explosions in Kiev. When Mr. Putin made his comments on Saturday in an address in the Russian nation, uh, IS extremists had already announced they carried out the, the killings. U.S. had confirmed that it had passed on intelligence of a threat earlier this month. Now, speaking about um, threats earlier this month, let's go to your man, Kirby. Kirby um, announced this two weeks ago, and he was very specific. Look at this. Roughly two weeks ago, the State Department put out a notice to all Americans in Moscow to avoid any large gatherings, concerts, or shopping malls. And then there's an attack on a concert. So what's going on? Let's hear him talk about it. Then we're going to get into the news clip. And look at his face. I was speaking this way on my stream last night, and shout out to you guys over there. This face right here is not very reassuring. It's always concerning. It's like the end is nigh, and I can't do anything about it. Uh, may God be with you. That's what this face says. So can we get a new secretary from the Pentagon? Because Kirby is not it. But let's go ahead and watch this. And I think these are from two different days. Why is he wearing the same outfit? I don't really know, but I digress. I've also seen, hopefully you saw our, I've also seen, hopefully you saw our state, the State Department, our embassy there, uh, put out a notice to all Americans uh, in Moscow to avoid any large gathering, concerts, obviously shopping malls, anything like that, uh, just for their own safety. They should, uh, they should stay put where they are and stay plugged into the State Department for any additional updates and information. I'm afraid that's really all I have on that. 
so maybe it's not from different days. Maybe this is after everything went down and then he's just rehashing it. So let's go to this one here. The concern face. Uh, thank you. Um, so question, uh, did the U.S. have prior knowledge of this attack uh, in, in Moscow, given that the uh, U.S. Embassy had issued warning beforehand? I'm not aware of any advanced knowledge that we had uh, of this, this, this terror. So if you didn't have any advanced knowledge, then why did you issue the warning to avoid concerts and shopping malls? I don't understand. So what was the warning all about? I don't really get it. Terrible attack. On March 8th, uh, the embassy warns of imminent attack in Moscow by extremists. Yeah, I, I think that I'll let the State Department speak to that, I think, but I don't think that was related to this specific attack. Huh? So you guys on March 8th, now we're, we're in, it's March 24th and the attack, what was that? March 22nd. You guys said avoid concert shopping malls because of an imminent terror attack. A terror attack happens. Ops. I had no idea it was going to happen. That makes no sense. I feel like you're a liar at that point. Now let's get to the news clip. And of course, everything I'm talking about and showing you guys will be in the description. If you're an IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. This morning's top story, Russian authorities have arrested 11 people, including all four suspected gunmen, following the deadly attack at a concert hall near Moscow. Now, can we just ask a question? Maybe, again, please pardon my ignorance, but usually when you're talking about Islamic extremists, you, know, you don't really catch them. You're not going to catch all of the guys who were involved with the shooting afterward, because a lot of times what they do, they put the vest on, Run up in the place, a lot of what, and blow everything up. They get martyred, go to the 85 virgins or whatever they got. It's not this whole thing of, okay, now we're going to get into a, a getaway car and go to Ukraine. It's, it's kind of weird to me, but maybe I'm just thinking a little bit too deeply. Let's keep on going. At least 115 people were killed. Russian news reports said the four camouflage clad gunmen stormed the venue and fired point blank at the hundreds of people who gathered for a rock concert. The attackers also set the concert hall on fire and caused the roof to partially collapse. The U.S. said it recently warned Russia about the threat of the Islamic State group attack targeting large gatherings in the Moscow area. Deborah Pata is following the latest developments just outside Russia's capital. But my question is, why did this happen? Why was there a terror attack? Why, why was Moscow the target for this? The shots were constant, eyewitness Dave Primov said. People panicked and started to run. Some fell down and were trampled on. Others were trapped in a basement and escaped by bashing down an exit door. The building was engulfed in flames with smoke billowing from the massive blaze. Russia's equivalent of the FBI dispatched investigators to the scene. The U.S. Embassy recently warned about the threat of terrorist attacks in Moscow, advising Americans to stay away from concert venues. And the State Department says the intelligence was shared with Russia. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Deborah Patter. So there we have it. That's what happened out there in uh, Moscow at the concert hall. As of right now, we're at about Sunday afternoon, Sunday, March 24th, 2024. At least 133 have passed away. Hopefully that, that toll doesn't rise up, but it may. Because, I mean, from the video that I saw, and again, I'll link to the more raw video in the box. The guys are just shooting indiscriminate. Just anybody right in front of them or wherever. They were kind of methodically moving slow, just shooting. So people may have been injured very badly. They may have been deceased or a combination of all the above in the same place. But as I close, I want to say this again, rest in peace to all those who passed away. Prayers out to all the families of those who have been affected, whether they be injured, whether they be deceased or whatever it is. And I want answers here. Why did this happen? Who knew what before it happened? It seems like there was knowledge of this. So how was this still able to happen? Was there a heightened level of security? And how did the guys get away? Why were they going to Ukraine? Was there a tie to Ukraine here? Can we get some details on that? I think we deserve some information. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on the whole situation? Do you think that this was something that was already known? People knew it was going to happen and just let it happen? 
or was it just a terror attack? Sometimes things happen. Why do you think this took place? What was the reasoning for targeting Moscow? I've not heard about Moscow being targeted like this before by a terrorist group. So, again, maybe it's just my arrogance, uh, not my arrogance, my ignorance, just not knowing certain things. But whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is kind of a fishy thing, and I'd like to know more information and I hope that this kind of thing does not become a pattern in Russia or in other parts of the world. You don't want to see a terror attack happen anywhere, but when you see it going to unusual places, it makes you kind of scratch your head. Like, okay, what's really going on here? And should I be concerned for myself over here in the U.S.? What's going on? Can we get some reasonable, realistic, and factual answers? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.